Happy holiday season. I'm gonna share a video with you today, a video clip from my favorite TV show that I like to watch and cry to with my mom called This Is Us. Uh, and it's gonna relate to a lesson that we need each other to grow and to become the best versions of ourselves. So watch this video clip and then we'll talk about it afterward. Yeah, of course I think you're a good person, Kev. Why? I do so many bad things. So just like was said in that video, we need one another to help each other become the best versions of ourselves. And if at any time you, like Kevin, are doubting whether or not you're a good person, doubting your value to your family and the people that you care about, men can be judged by their fruits. So get up and do something. Get up and serve those people around you. There is no mistake in who we're here with. The only mistake is in not loving them the way that we should. So in times when I feel like I need that motivation, I need something to get me up and put me in that mindset to live the way that I know I already should live, this is what comes into my mind. Just like the father in the video said, we need people that we love to care about and to motivate us to become the best versions of ourselves. The best version of Noah can't be on vacation today because there are people that I need to serve. There are people that I need to love all around me. And it's the same for you. If this is a new concept to you, then I would invite you to embrace it fully. There's a question that Benjamin Franklin asked himself every morning when he woke up in his journal. And it was, what good will I do today? And every night when he came back to bed in his journal, he, he asked the question again, what good have I done today? So focus on those people around you and how you can serve them how you can add the most value to their lives and it will help you to become the best version of yourself. I'd like to add right here on the end a scripture from the Bible. This is James <clears throat> James chapter 1 verses 2 through 4. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. So this Thanksgiving, when your Uncle Craig is making racist jokes, I'd invite you to ask the question what you can learn from that experience. How God has placed Uncle Craig in the exact position that he needs to be for you to grow and to become the best version of yourself that you can be, and also to help your family in doing the same thing. 